Stinchcomb was born in Cleveland in 1878. He was a self-taught and correspondence taught engineer, very practical man, but also had a very poetic side, loved the outdoors. He was working as a city surveyor and engineer for the city of Cleveland when our progressive mayor, Tom Johnson, tapped him to become city parks engineer. This was part of the progressive era where all of the benefits of industry was also being tempered against some of the downsides, the smog, the pollution, and they knew that children in particular were suffering in urban settings by not having green spaces to play, to get in touch with nature. Supposedly, Stinchcomb said to Tom Johnson, I don't know anything about parks. And Johnson said, well, good, then you'll learn. And he began to come up with this idea that the city of Cleveland, which at that time was growing immensely, the city parks in Cleveland at that time formed a ring around the inner city of Cleveland. He suggested we form an outer ring. He figured the beauty of these areas was perfect for picnics and enjoyment of nature, not so good use for agriculture or industry at the time. He knew that the scenery, waterways, all of these things were important, but he also knew that in order to enjoy them, we'd need roads to get there. One article called him a practical dreamer, because what he did is he had this vision, but then he had the practical sense how to make that vision a reality. He was very poetic when he wrote about the babbling brooks and the, the trilling birds, but he also knew how to, as an engineer, create infrastructure that would make these parks viable for people and enjoyable for people. A hundred years later, we have over 23,000 acres, over 18 reservations, plus the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. It is definitely conjecture to assume without Stinchcomb we wouldn't have the Cleveland Metro Parks, but I think from everything I've read, I can safely say that we would not have this ring of connected parks. I definitely think that he was the right man in the right place at the right time to create this unique park system that we have.